reverie. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. Stand at the front desk until you are asked what you are doing. Look at the person who asked you the question and say, My apologies, I must have been daydreaming. Ask the person at the front desk if you can visit the one who calls themselves the holder of reverie. If she tells you visiting hours are not until later that day, apologize and leave immediately. Run as far as you can and as fast as you can. Never return to the place where you came from, and do not return to your home for at least seventy-two hours. I'd rather not discuss what would happen if you were to go against this. If you are safe for now, the person will take your hand and lead you down a series of hallways. Eventually, you will be led toward a dead end. Close your eyes and keep hold of the person's hand, and speak the person's name. If the person is wearing a name tag, this shouldn't be a problem. If not, you'll have to guess. If this is the case, I hope for your sake you guess correctly. A sensation unlike any one humans have ever felt will move through your body if you have said the name correctly. Once the feeling has passed, it is safe to open your eyes. When you do open them, you will be in a bedroom laying next to your ideal lover. The lover will place their hand on your chest and say, I've been waiting for you. Are you ready? The lover will tempt you, but if you give in, the bed will disappear and you will be plunged into eternal pain beyond human comprehension. Look in the lover's eyes and say, I'm sorry, but I won't. If your answer comes quickly and decisively, she will no longer tempt you. If she does tempt you again, you will have a second opportunity to deny her using the same phrase. You must be absolutely certain to answer quickly and decisively, or the lover will not accept your answer. If she sits up in the bed, you are safe. She will cross the room, pick up a flask, and offer it to you. Take the flask, but do not drink it. Wait, and a door will manifest itself next to the bed. Open and walk through the door. You will find yourself in another room with a bed. Lie on the bed, and you will fall asleep. When you wake, you will be in your own bed with the flask on your chest. After you wake, it will be safe to drink the contents of the flask, if you choose. Drinking the contents will grant you the ability to see into a person's thoughts and manifest them in reality. Be warned, however, that the liquid, not the flask, is Object 440, and should you drink it, you will become object 440. It is unknown what happens to the objects should they be brought together.